Biological warfare is a war fought with biological toxins or infectious agents such as bacteria, viruses, insects and fungi with the objective to exterminate, kill or incapacitate humans, animals or plants. Biological weapons are living organisms or replicating entities. Biological weapons may be used in different ways to achieve a tactical advantage over the enemy either by threats or by actual deployments. Like some chemical weapons, biological weapons may also be useful as area denial weapons. These agents may be lethal or non-lethal and may be targeted against a single individual, a group of people or even an entire population. They may be developed, acquired, stockpiled or deployed by nation states or if used by non-national groups, you know, covertly, it may also be considered bioterrorism. In fact, uh, offensive biological warfare, including mass production, stockpiling and use of biological weapons was outlawed by the 1972 Biological Weapons Convention. The rationale you know, behind this treaty, which has been ratified or acceded to by more than 170 countries, is to prevent a biological attack, which could you know, conceivably result in large numbers of civilian casualties and cause severe disruption to economic and societal infrastructure. The, uh, the, the, the use of biological weapons is also prohibited under customary international humanitarian laws. The use of biological agents in armed conflict is a war crime. Modern history has witnessed use of biological weapons by several countries during wars and battles, which has caused enormous catastrophe of the human populace. Not only nations, as I mentioned earlier, but even non-state actors have engaged in using biological weapons. You know why? Because they are difficult to detect, economical and easy to use, making them too tempting to terrorists. The cost of a biological weapon is estimated to be about 0.5%. 0.5%, yes, 0.05% the cost of a conventional weapon in order to produce similar numbers of mass casualties per kilometer square or per square kilometer. Moreover, their production is very easy as common technology can be used to produce biological warfare like that used in production of let's say, you know, vaccines, foods, spray devices, beverages and antibiotics. A major factor about biological warfare that attracts terrorists is that they can easily escape before the investigating agencies have even started their investigation. You know why? This is because the potential organism ordinarily has incubation period of 1 to 10 days, after which the, the results begin to appear thereby giving terrorists a lead. In 2002, a notorious radical terrorist organization was found to be experimenting with crude poisons, thereby planning chemical attacks with the help of a loose association of terrorist cells. The associates had infiltrated in many countries like Turkey, Italy, Spain, France and others. In 2015, to combat the threat of bioterrorism, a national blueprint for biodefense was issued in the United States by the Blue Ribbon Study Panel on Biodefense. Well, there are many speculations about COVID-19 or coronavirus being one such biological weapon, in respect of which, as we all know, a lawsuit has already been filed in the United States against China. All nations need to, need to plan out a strategy today to combat bioterrorism. Yes, 
as there appears to be clear and present danger.